Hello students, this is Mrs. Yowd, and today we're going to do Chapter 3, Lesson 4, which is about graphing linear equations in standard form. Please have your journals open to page 76. The standard form of a linear equation is ax plus by equals c. In this equation, a, b, and c need to be real numbers, and a and b cannot both be zero. The x-intercept is where the graph crosses the x-axis, and the y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. For example, if I gave you this problem 3x plus 6y equals 12, and I asked you to graph it, the easiest way for you to do so is to create a t-chart where we're going to plug in x and y, and the easiest way is to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. And how we do that is we plug in 0 for y and solve for x, and then plug in 0 for x and solve for y. So when we plug in 0 for y, we're going to get 3x plus 6 times 0 equals 12. And the 6 times 0 is 0, so that goes away. And then we just need to divide by 3 on both sides, and we get 12 divided by 3, which is 4. So that means that the point 4 comma 0 is where the graph will cross the x-axis. Now to do the y number, uh, we're going to plug in 0 for x. So that would be 3 times 0 plus 6y is equal to 12. And 3 times 0 is 0, so that goes away. So we just need to divide by 6 on both sides, and we get 2. And so that means that 0, 2 is where the graph crosses the y-axis. So if we were to graph this, 4, 0 would be my x-intercept, 0, 2 would be my y-intercept, and then we would just need to connect those together. For horizontal and vertical lines, if you have a graph y equals b, where b is a number on the y-axis, the line is going to be a horizontal line, and it's going to pass through the point 0, comma b. For example, if I gave you y equals 3, and we thought of this in terms of y equals mx plus b, then we could rewrite this equation as y equals 0x plus 3. So that means it has a slope of 0, and it has a y-intercept of 3. So if we were to graph y equals 3, it would cross the y-axis at 3, and it would be a horizontal line. For vertical lines, it's going to be x equals a number. So the graph of x equals a is going to be a vertical line, and it's going to pass through the point a comma 0. For example, if I had x equals 3, it would cross the x-axis this time at 3, and it would be a vertical line going up and down. On page 77, in exercises 102, they want us to graph the linear equation. I would like for you to go ahead and graph numbers 1 and 2 based upon what I just taught you about horizontal and vertical lines on the previous page. Pause the video and then turn it back on when you're done. For number one, I had a horizontal line crossing at negative three, and for number two, it should be a vertical line crossing at the, on the x-axis at two. On the next page, in exercises three through five, they want us to find the x and y intercepts of the graph of the linear equation. So the easiest way to do that, remember, is to do a t-chart. So I'm going to do number four with you first. So I'm going to do a t-chart here, and we're going to plug in zero for y and solve for x, and then zero for x and solve for y. So when I plug in zero for y, we're going to get negative x minus four times zero equals 16. Four times zero is zero, so that part goes away. I still have a negative in front of the x, so I need to divide out a negative one. And so that gives me negative 16 that goes there. Now we're going to plug in 0 for x. So negative 0 minus 4y is equal to 16. The 0 cancels out. We're going to divide out negative 4. And so we get 16 divided by negative 4 is negative 4. 
So that means that my x-intercept is negative 16, and my y-intercept is negative 4. All right, I would like for you to try numbers 3 and 5 on your own. Pause the video and then turn it back on when you're done. For number 3, I got the x-intercept is 4 and the y-intercept is 3. For number 5, I got the x-intercept is negative 6 and the y-intercept is 15. In exercises 6 and 7, they want us to use the intercepts to graph the linear equation and label the points that correspond to the intercepts. Let's take a look at number 7. So we're going to plug in our zeros, just like we did in numbers 3, 4, and 5. So I'm going to plug in 0 for y, and when I do that, we get 2x is equal to 4, and when I divide out 2, I get 2. So that means 2 comma 0 is my x-intercept. When I plug in 0 for x, we're going to get y is equal to 4, and I don't need to divide anything out. So that means 0 comma 4 is my y-intercept. And then I just need to connect those two points with a line. I would like for you to try number 6 on your own. Pause the video and then turn it back on when you're done. For number 6, I got 0 comma 2 as my y-intercept and negative 3 comma 0 as my x-intercept. Number 8 says the school band is selling sweatshirts and baseball caps to raise $9,000 to attend a band competition. Sweatshirts cost $25 each and baseball caps cost $10 each. The equation 25x plus 10y equals 9,000 models this a situation where x is the number of sweatshirts sold and y is the number of baseball caps sold. So we need to first find and interpret the intercepts. When we plug in 0 for y, we get 25x is equal to 9,000. So if I divide by 25 on both sides, then I get 360. When I plug in 0 for x, I get 10y is equal to 9,000. And when I divide by 10, then y is 900. So let's see what do these intercepts mean in terms of this real world problem. So the x-intercept would mean that we would sell 360 sweatshirts and zero baseball caps. And I get that because 360 comma zero, so 360, remember, stands for the number of sweatshirts is x, and then zero is the number of baseball caps. So that's how I got 360 sweatshirts and zero baseball caps. The y-intercept is going to be then 900 baseball caps and zero sweatshirts. Letter B says, if 258 sweatshirts were sold, how many baseball caps were sold? So what we need to do is plug in 258 into this equation for my x, because x, remember, it says up here, x is the number of sweatshirts, and then this is number of sweatshirts. So when we solve for this, we get 6450 here, and then plus 10y is equal to 9,000. Now we'd need to subtract off 6,450 from both sides, and that leaves us with 10y is equal to 2,550. Then divide by 10, y is equal to 255. So how many baseball caps were sold? That would be 255 baseball caps. Letter C says to graph the equation and then find two more possible solutions in the context of the problem. So here are my x and y intercepts. Given that the y goes up to 900, I'm going to count by 100s going up the y-axis. And I also labeled my y-axis as baseball caps because that's what I'm told that the y means up here. Um, my x-axis needs to go out to 360. So I'm going to uh, count by 50s on this and also label it as sweatshirts. Okay, so now I'm ready to graph. So uh, 360 comma zero is just past the 350 mark. So that is right here. And then zero comma 900 is up on the y-axis there. And now we need to connect those. To find my solutions, I'm just gonna pick a few numbers along here to help me. I'm gonna choose 100 and 300 to plug in. 
So when I plugged in 100, I got 650. So uh, 100 comma 650 is right about here. So that means my line is a little bit off, but it's pretty close. So that's one possible solution. And now I'm going to plug in uh, 300 to see what I get. Okay, when I did that, I got uh, y is 150. So 300 comma 150 is right about here. So that is another solution to my equation. Okay, that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.